Do you want to invest in real estate in Canada, but don't want the hassle of buying property? In this video, you're going to learn about the best real estate investment trusts in Canada. Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris Liu and I'm the creator of WealthAwesome.com. So how Canada REITs work are that they invest in residential and commercial properties all across the nation. By investing in a REIT, you're investing in real estate all across usually Canada and sometimes the US and maybe even Europe. To qualify as a REIT, at least 75% of the revenue has to come from Canadian properties. With the COVID-19 pandemic, almost every REIT in Canada has taken a beating in 2020 and now could be a great price point to purchase a REIT. This isn't going to be an in-depth technical analysis of each stock, but more of like an introduction and summary of the business models of each of these REITs. All of the data is from August 2020. REIT number one. North View Apartment REIT. This is a stable residential REIT that owns a portfolio of more than 27,000 units across eight provinces and two territories. It offers its shareholders a decent dividend yield with a sustainable payout ratio. Where most residential REITs offer low dividend yields, North View offers one of the best due to its high quality portfolio. REIT number two, H&R REIT. H&R REIT is a massively diversified REIT. Its portfolio consists of real estate assets of retail, industrial, and residential properties spread throughout continental North America. It has over 40 million square feet of leasable space that allow the company to pay its shareholders a high dividend yield also. It's experiencing weakness due to the recent sell-off, so now could be a good time to enter into the market. Read number three, Artist Read. Ardis is a REIT in the midst of reconfiguring its portfolio so it could reduce its exposure to retail and office sectors. It's increasing its focus on high quality industrial properties in Canada and the US to create a more geographically diverse portfolio. It's an attractive REIT due to its discounted share prices owing to the recession. So take a look at that one too. REIT number four, Slate Office REIT. Slate REIT is a Canada-based open-ended REIT focused on acquiring owning and leasing revenue generating commercial properties in the U.S. Its portfolio consists of properties across 20 states in the U.S. and it's primarily composed of grocery retail stores. The recent sell-off has dropped off its share price and increased the dividend yield to attractive figures for shareholders. Number five, Killam Apartment REIT. Killam Apartment REIT is a residential REIT that enjoys decreased risk from a housing market bubble. It owns, operates, and develops manufactured home community properties in the Atlantic Coast, Alberta, and Ontario areas. Since real estate investors rarely turn to MHCs due to the affordability, Killam's assets are relatively safe from highly inflated prices. I think it could be a fantastic defensive REIT. REIT number six, Choice Properties REIT. Choice Properties is a defensive REIT that consists primarily of commercial and retail properties. Its clientele includes well-established tenants like Loblaw, it has a long-standing association with high-quality tenants, and it enjoys decent revenue through more than 700 properties located in various locations. Its portfolio consists primarily of retail properties followed by industrial, development, office, and residential properties. Number seven, Crombie REIT. Crombie REIT is one of Canada's leading national retail property REITs. The primary focus of the trust is owning, operating, and developing a portfolio of high-quality rental properties to generate a decent income. Crombie's portfolio consists of more than 280 commercial properties spread across Canada's top urban and suburban markets. The company is rapidly growing and can become a significant entity in Canada's fastest-growing metropolitan areas. Number eight, BTB REIT. BTB REIT is one of the more impressive REITs I've seen trading on the TSX. It's among the highest dividend paying REITs in the real estate industry. The REIT has been performing well over the past couple of years. The open-ended REIT's operating segment includes industrial, office, retail, and mixed-use properties. It enjoys relative insulation from the broader market pullback and offers shareholders a good defensive option to consider. Canadian Apartment Properties REIT Canadian Apartment Property REIT is a resilient performer on TSX. While the recession is busy just tearing up REITs, cap REITs decline is substantially lower compared to the broader market pullback. This REIT offers its shareholders the opportunity to capitalize on its portfolio of 65,000 rental apartments, townhouse suites, and MHCs in various areas across Canada and Europe. Its geographical diversity offers the REIT insulation. 
from Canadian markets. REIT number 10, InterRent REIT. InterRent is a REIT with a unique ability to find problematic properties. It looks for properties that carry certain baggage. It could be subpar management, outdated units, or a dire need for renovation and restoration. The REIT purchases these properties for a massive discount. Then it spruces up the properties and brings the properties up to its higher standards. While it's a bit of a risky business model, the top brass takes every possible measure to mitigate the risks and the REIT continues to grow. Number 11, Boardwalk REIT. Boardwalk is a mid-cap residential REIT with a long-standing reputation for its high occupancy rates, consistent growth, and overall success. The REIT had its fair share of trouble due to its overexposure in Alberta. And five years ago, when Alberta markets came crashing down, when the oil prices fell, Boardwalk was in a bit of trouble. But since then, it's diversified its portfolio, disposed of its non-core assets, and diversified its overall holdings to build a more reliable reputation in the industry. It's a substantial operator of residential properties and seemingly has made a successful turnaround. Number 12, WPT Industrial REIT. This REIT has a portfolio which consists of light industrial properties. It has a significant presence in the US and it's been producing fantastic results for the past several years. Its tenants consist of high quality companies, including Amazon. It's a stock that's well poised to rebound substantially as the markets recover from the effects of the coronavirus recession. Number 13, Kaminar REIT. This REIT is among the most diversified REITs in the country. The stock was one of the surprise top performers on the TSX in 2019. It calls itself the largest commercial property owner in the province of Quebec. The REIT has a portfolio that consists of more than 330 retail, office, industrial, and mixed-use properties. The company's pursuit of stability resulted in its fantastic results as its occupancy rates increased and the REIT managed to increase its average net rent. The REIT's restructuring efforts have made it an attractive option to consider. Number 14, Granite REIT. As the markets crumble, I think it'd be safe to assume that you're looking for reliable assets for investment. Granite is a REIT that has seen its share decline sharply along with the broader market, but the REIT itself fundamentals still look rock solid. Granite transformed into one of Canada's largest and highest quality industrial REITs in the past few years. Its portfolio consists of more than 40 million square feet of leasable space across the US, Canada, and Europe. This geographical diversification allows Granite to outperform the REIT index in Canada. It can achieve that due to the tremendous balance sheet that it holds and its move towards e-commerce properties, which given today's difficulty with brick and mortar properties is a great strategy. REIT number 15, Dream Industrial REIT. This REIT was one of the best performing REITs on the TSX throughout 2019. The stock gained around 40% at a time when the S&P and TSX index grew by less than 20%. It delivered attractive returns for shareholders and it's busy reorganizing its portfolio to unlock even more value for its investors. It's expanded into light industrial property markets in Germany and the Netherlands, so it has a nice global diversification. Number 16, Allied Property REIT. Allied Properties REIT is a low risk operator in Canada's real estate sector. It has a portfolio comprised primarily of office buildings in large metropolitan Canadian cities. Most of the offices in AP's portfolio are class one buildings. And this means that the company enjoys a high quality tenant base, which provide premium rent. This Canadian dividend aristocrat is a very attractive option to consider. Number 17, Smart Centers REIT. This REIT is one of the most substantial and fully integrated REITs trading on a TSX. The company has an excess of $10 billion in assets. With over 150 properties spread across the country, it has roughly 34 million square feet in leasable space. The REIT's clientele consists of heavy hitting retail companies like Best Buy, Dollarama, and Walmart. It has a high payout ratio, but a sustainable one due to its high quality tenant base. Number 18, Summit Industrial Income REIT. REITs are not usually counted among the top ranking growth stocks trading on a TSX, but Summit REIT, however, is one of the rare exceptions. The REIT focuses on owning and operating light industrial properties in the country. It boasts an ultra high occupancy rate that allows the REIT to generate substantial cash flow. And it has a substantial dividend payout ratio and the ability to maintain a compounded annual growth rate of 8%. Number 19, CT REIT. CT REIT could be a more conservative pick among the REITs that I've talked about today. It's 
A more unconventional rate to consider, uh, the trust owns more than 27 million square feet of leasable space distributed throughout 357 properties. And it has investment grade tenants that account for most of its revenue. The most substantial income for the REIT comes from Canadian Tire. It enjoys long-term contracts with them, it offers a juicy dividend yield, and it has a sustainable payout ratio to support its dividends. So my favorite way to buy stocks or ETFs in Canada is using Questrade. You can get $50 in free trades if you click on the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out content every week. Also, be sure to check out the blog, wealthawesome.com, one of Canada's leading personal finance blogs. It goes into this topic in even more detail and has many more topics that you might be interested in. And again, thanks for listening and thanks for watching.